Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We're starting to admit people into the room. Glad to have everybody on the BIT group team call tonight, tonight, tonight. Welcome. And I am just going to take a minute and text out to some more people. Hey, welcome to the team call, to the team chat. Welcome to the Zoom. Come on into the room. Hey, Boomy, Teresa. Hey, Teresa, how you doing? I am good. Wonderful. Welcome. Thanks, I'm texting some people. That's what I'm doing too. <laughs> I am doing the same thing. I just stopped in the, stepped in the house though. I didn't have time to send out the texts before now and Sharon did post in the uh, chat in the group, but still got to do my own invitations for the team. Hey, Tarvis. There we go. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our team Zoom. I'm going to mute everybody just for about the next two minutes. So everyone can say hello as you enter in. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Who just joined us? This is Etsy. Who's that? This is Etsy. Hi, right, Etsy. Etsy. Welcome. Hey, Bomi Terrell's here. Hey, Terrell. Welcome to the call. Go ahead, guys, and give us a quick hello to let us know you're in, and then you can meet back over. Who else do we have? This is Denise. I'm here. Hey, Denise. Welcome to the call. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Hey, Amanda. Hi. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Boomy. This is Judith. Hey, Judith. Welcome. This is Joanne. more seconds and we're going to get started. Hey, Amanda, are you somewhere where you can talk? Uh, yes. Okay. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with you. Hearing your voice just reminded me of the power of YouTube videos because that's how you met Sharon, correct? That's how I met Sharon and Julie. So I wanna, um, cause I don't know. I wanna just focus on on that for a moment because um, I'm 
proud of what she and what she's doing and because you did those YouTube videos you got that going. So I don't know how to hit that one. Yes, and I know that I need to do that. And I've made some videos. I just hadn't posted them to YouTube and you're right, it's powerful. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and mute over. We can get this call started. Welcome to the call, Clutch. All righty. Let me mute all. Okay. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Fit Group Team Zoom. So glad to have everybody on this evening. You know, we do this call every <laughs> Sunday night to keep everyone in the loop with the Bit Group. We talk about give training and coaching, business building tips, updates, um, uh, recognition, just do some sharing to help everybody to get ready for the upcoming week and just really move forward in a powerful way in their business. So I want to welcome everyone to the call. And tonight I'm going to mainly put the ball in your court. So I want everyone to pay attention. Now I'm going to ask the question of what do you need to succeed? So be thinking about that. What do you think that you need to succeed? And so we're going to have an open forum. I'm going to answer some of those questions that you have and just kind of do a, a talk based on what you need to succeed in your business. But the first thing I want to do, I always want to give you guys some really some solid direction of some things that are going to benefit you. So I want to talk to you about YouTube. And I want to use Amanda as the example here tonight, because if you see in the group, um, I forget Sharon's name on Facebook, Sharon Kistu something, it's a kind of long name, or Hefner or something like that. Sharon was sponsored by Amanda, but Amanda did not know Sharon. It was the fact that Amanda, a long time ago, when we said, Amanda, you got to do YouTube videos. Amanda, <laughs> let's, we, we did a, about two years ago, we did a, um, what was it, a video, like a 30-day video blitz or something like that. And right. uh, Amanda started making videos and put them out. And because of that, what has happened, Amanda? Oh, did she get muted out? When we had that get together. Uh oh, can you hear me? I know yeah, I'm, I can I'm getting into an area and it does it does get a little frozen here. But yes, yeah, so it all started um when we were in that function in North Carolina and I was so reluctant to do videos and he just kept on encouraging me and we actually had to do a few takes before it took. <laughs> but um and I started doing the videos as as hard as it is for me, um, I did stick with it during that time. And you're right, that's how I met Sharon and that's how I met Julie. Julie's still consistent with ordering, but she found me through YouTube and Sharon, uh oh, and Sharon found me through YouTube. And, um, and you know what, when, when you, when you say to keep on, you know, working your business because that one person is going to come along. That's how I feel about Sharon. And, you know, for me not to do video, can you still hear me? Yes. So for me to not do videos right now, um, you know, it's, 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 I, I still have a hard time with it. You know, you see me when we do our Zooms that I turn the video off. Most of the time, you know, 90% of the time is because I have a bad connection or, I'm doing something else, but another part of it is just because I hate the camera on me. I still have, I still have that feeling, but I know that I still need to do videos and I know that it's selfish of me not to just because, you know, I feel like, you know, what you've always said, you know, that we're, we're helping people. And so Sharon is just, you know, she's just taking off with this and you know, just from the get go and she's just bringing people on. It's amazing. Mary captain. 
you know, she's been in the industry and, you know, you never know who's going to find you. And, you know, I have had like what you say, people contact me and because of other people not having like what you say, their phone number, their contact information, you know, they say, well, you know, I, I saw somebody else's before I saw yours, but you had your telephone number and you answered the phone. So yeah, it's, it's very powerful. And I have videos that I have made just haven't posted them to YouTube. And, you know, this is, it's, it's powerful. It's more powerful than we know because Sharon and her team that she's growing, they are golden nuggets. You know, they are. Um, is that it? Anything else that you? Hey, well, no, that was, that was some good value. I appreciate you for sharing, Amanda. Can you hear me okay? I can. Okay. Um, so I, I just want to piggyback on some things Amanda was saying, guys. So when you put a video out on Facebook, it's different than YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. So, like, for instance, you've been doing Facebook Lives, and that's great. You want to keep on doing Facebook Lives. But that's a different social media platform than, than YouTube. And it works like this. So if you put a – people don't go to, you, to Facebook to search. On Facebook, that's where you are really – cultivating an audience and a, a following and you're getting to talk to people and see what's going on and you know, build up a fan base and, and all of that. Not that you don't do that on, on YouTube, but when you make a video on Facebook, it's up there for a while and then it kind of like disappears. I mean, you can find it if you try, but it is not in people's news feed any longer, right? But on YouTube, it's there on your channel and it stays. And when people go to search for how to make money from home, as people go to search for, let's say they're hearing about Laura Life and they're searching for Laura Life, they're searching for Dr. Miller's Detox Tea, you can make it so that they find you. So the more videos that you have out there on your channel, the better. And then, of course, um, there's something called you've got to put your title, then you put your description and your tags would be keywords that people may be searching for. So those things are, are important. But there is an app that I have because I have an Android. It's called Facebook Video Downloader. So every time you do a Facebook Live or every time you do any type of video, guys, you can actually download that to your phone. So if you have not clicked save on that video, because sometimes when you're doing Facebook Live, you can just click save, and it automatically appears in your gallery. But let's say if you forgot to do that or something, you can go to Facebook Video Downloader and download any video from Facebook on, into your gallery so that you can upload it onto YouTube, okay? So I would suggest... I'm telling you the suggestion because it's going to make you money. I would suggest that you get a YouTube channel, which is free, and start putting your videos out on YouTube because there's coming a day, which is upon us, that people are going to be searching for Lorelei, searching for a detox tea, searching for how to lose weight. Searching for people who are sharing how to make the tea, test them, their testimonies on the tea, and telling about their business and how they're excited about it, how they're sampling, how they're out doing vending. And people are looking for sponsors. People are looking for opportunity. People are looking for ways to make money. So Google is the number one search engine in the world. YouTube is second. So you would want to be where people are searching. So I'm giving you that admonition of everything that I've ever done as far as to sign people up. YouTube has paid me the most dividends back. I get calls all the time. I get leads all the time. Customers as well as business partners from people um, seeing my videos on YouTube. So you see, it doesn't just work for me. 
you see Amanda and now Sharon, I saw Sharon and Mary just came on. They are a part of the bit group because Amanda had put out videos, okay? So guys, do yourself and your e-wallet and your, your team a favor, make videos and teach your team how to do the same thing. I promise you, it's gonna pay you for years to come. I have people who see videos that I made in 2010, and they come to me to purchase products, okay, from that. All right, guys, so I just wanted to start with that nugget um, real quick before I open it up today, I told you this is going to be, what do you need to be successful? What is it that you need? So I'm going to have you to unmute, tell me something you need. I'm going to give you a little bit, a few minutes of tips and coaching on that. And then that's going to help everybody. So don't be shy. No question or no comment is a bad one. Go ahead and, and, and say what you want to say, ask what you want to ask. And then I'll give you my expert opinion and feedback on that so we can all grow and get better guys tonight we were at today we were at the happy nappy event um bruce was bruce dunn was vending there and i put some pictures out so you could see it was a really really great day lots of people the only thing that was missing was he should have had more people there to help because after a while, I mean, Dr. Darrell had to leave, Karen Wright had to leave, his um, daughter and granddaughters had to leave. He was there by himself. And there were so many people. So when you do vending where there's a lot of um, people, you want to try to have team members from your own team there to help you. But then if you don't have a team yet, guys, even working cross line is better to work cross line or sideline and share what's going on than to miss all those people because it was like too many people for one person. But remember, your money is in the streets. People are out and about and they have money to spend. Go and get in front of where the people are. Now, this Saturday, We've got the, another event in Baltimore, the tea, coffee, and fitness mixer. So we had a call the other day, a planning committee call about that. Stay tuned because in a few days, probably on Tuesday, um, Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to have another uh, call in reference to that. Even if you are not in Baltimore, I would go on my Facebook page if I was you and say, hey, I'm looking, I'm looking for friends of mine who are in Baltimore. Leave a comment if you're in the DMV area. DMV is, is DC, Maryland, Virginia area. You never know who in your friends list is from the area so that way you can start connecting with them, inbox them, send them a flyer, let them know why you were reaching out. You're trying to connect with people who are into being healthy. You want to invite them to a tea, coffee, and fitness mixer that you and your partners are having this weekend, okay? So, Make sure that everybody, no matter what state you are in, that you are promoting that the tea, coffee, and fitness mixer that we're having this weekend is going to be so much fun. It's going to be a blast, and we're going to use it to, to grow our businesses, okay? And then um, on the 21st, Cassandra is having her mixer, tea, coffee, and jazz mixer at her home, and hopefully you guys are saying, me, 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 I'm next, I'm next. If you want to be a six-figure earner, like I want all of you guys to be at that $5,000 a month in extra income, $10,000 a month, you know, $15,000, $20,000 in full-time income per month as you grow your business. You got to get the duplication going if you want to see those numbers where you have two numbers in front of the comma. It's not just about what, you, what you're what you doing, but you got to get your start building a team and you got to get your team to do what it is that you're doing. So you must duplicate. So you want to get to the point where you your team on any given day, there are multiple mixers going on. You may be at one or having one and you've got 10 other people across the country who are opening up outlets doing the same thing. So I'm so proud of Doris because Doris had uh, was doing a mixer at her church. She still has to come up with the date, but the two days she had it first, she, I said, Doris, yes, those are good, but I can't be there. You need to do them anyway. 
These are so easy. It's not about doing a formal presentation. It's not about me having to be there. If you need me or want me to come in by phone, if I can, I will. And some of them I will get to. But to get the duplication going, guys, it's just about the tea, the coffee, you, some friends, chatting, telling testimonies and stories over tea and coffee. Coffee and conversation, tea and testimonies, that's it. Just being authentic, doing what you do anyway. Set your date and get it done. It's truly no big deal. Just invite some people over and you will be surprised at, oh my gosh, people actually bought from me. Wow, people are actually giving me referrals. Wow, you know what? People are signing up. They like this. They're having fun. This is something that they want to duplicate. And wow, I've actually made some really good money. All right. Well, I want to open it up now for what I need to be successful. What is it that you need to be successful? I want you to unmute in somebody, whether it's something you feel that you're missing, something you need to know that you don't know, something that you feel you need to get better at. What is it that you need to be successful? I'm going to give you all each two, uh, uh, two minutes of expert advice to help you in your business and being more successful. So unmute yourself. And who's that first person? What do you need to be successful? Hey, Boomy, Teresa. Hey, go ahead, Teresa. Um, the, doing the um, the watch parties. Can you go over step by step? Like if somebody does a video, and how do, how do you do that? I thought I did it, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm asking, maybe somebody else needs to, needs to know the answer too. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to give you what I know. Um, I'm not necessarily an expert, but watch parties are basically, guys, a rerun, a replay of a, a video. I think it's just live videos, but they're a rerun. So what you do is you go to the video so like for example you I, I did a um a live with jonathan bryan i did a live with um with travis martin those are the founders of, of the company right the, the um some of the head guys now so you can go to my page or you can search in the search field on on facebook find the video and then sometimes it says when you click share then it'll say watch party other times right under the video um like if you do a live of your own and then it says you click on uh like you want to make a comment or you click on like you want to do a uh, your words for your post and then it'll say watch party same place it'll say like post and photo or whatever watch party is one of those choices and you just click on that and it allows you to again say whatever it is you want to say and then replay that video and so people can come and now they can watch the replay live. So you can actually make a comment as if it were the first time watching it. You can engage with those people watching it. You can share it to wherever you need to share. You can share watch party into groups. You can share it with individuals. You can share it in messengers, a messenger. So you want to um, share that watch party with whoever it is that you want to see it. And as people are looking at your watch party, you want to engage with them. You want to wave at them. You want to say hi. So if Karen Wright joins your watch party or someone you don't know joins, you want to say, hey, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. How are you doing today? This is some great information. So the, if the more you engage with them, the longer that they will stay on. And then also, you don't have to be there the whole time in your watch party. There's something that says um, you can either end the party or you can say, it'll say something like leave watch party. So you can actually start up a watch party, leave the watch party, but it's still playing. And then you can go back and see who looked at it or who commented and then reach out to those people in their inbox. So, um, that's what I have for you on watch parties, but definitely do them. Replay the videos and the lives that you see. You can go to 
Tut's page, Antoine Jones, and you know he's done quite a few lives lately. So you can replay that as a watch party on your page and just say, hey, this is one of my partners. You gotta hear his amazing testimony. He used to be 300 pounds, now look. And then play his, uh, the video, the Facebook Live that he did on your wall and get your own audience looking at Tut's Live. So I hope that gave you some information that you needed. Is that good, Teresa? Thank you, thank you, Boomy. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, who else? What do you need to be successful? Question, comment, personal development issue. What do you need to be more successful in your business? Who's next? Hey, Boomy, uh, this is Etsy. Hey, Etsy. Hi. Um, what I need to know is that I, I actually don't know I mean, I know how to approach the people, but um, I'm, I'm like a babe in the business, so I don't actually know how to explain the product to the people. And then um, on top of that, I know that I need to get some cards to kind of like help me out and uh, what else? Oh, well, stop there. <laughs> Stop there, because that's that's good enough right there. So she said okay. she doesn't know how to explain the product to the people. So let me give you some tips on this. And guys, network marketing is about teaching people to teach people. So even if you know how to explain the product, still listen to the answer to this question because you are going to need this information for your team members. So understand Etsy and everyone else, it's not about you explaining. It's about you being a tour guide and pointing people to the information and letting the tools do the explaining. Because the video can say it better in four minutes than you could in 15. So okay. if what you've got to get good at is knowing the links, like you should get the digital business card. Everything you need, guys, is in one place for $27 for the whole year. You text out that digital business card and bam, all of the videos are right there in one place. The testimonials are there. Laura Life, the link to Laura Life Central where they can see the ingredients and the Q&A is, is right there. Then the link to your website. Okay, and then the link to get to your site to order, everything is right there on that digital business card. But guys, remember, you point the people to the tool. You are not the tool. It is not your job to convince. It is your job to say, you gotta take a look at this video. Oh my gosh. This video that will tell you all about the tea. <laughs> take a look at it, and then I'll give you a call back in five minutes to see what you liked about what you saw. Okay. Now, with that, with that said of understanding that you all should be teaching your team to get people to look at the tools, as a business person, you should know about your product enough to uh, at least engage or pique a person's interest. Okay. So how do you do that? By tuning into these trainings by listening to us on the trainings that we do on Facebook, by getting onto the calls on Tuesday, by coming out to the vending events where you can hear Dr. Daryl and I talk and explain to people and, uh, uh, about, the, um, about the product. So there's a lot of ways to increase your education by listening to the videos yourself over and over again by becoming friends with the people in this group and as they post the test their testimonials and you read them, that gives you stories to tell. So remember, facts tell, but stories sell. And you should be telling the story. So it shouldn't be that you're listing out the ingredients to people. It should be like you all telling Wanda's story yesterday where, look girl, let me just tell you, we had a girl who was drinking this tea her high blood pressure was high. Her blood pressure was high. 
her doctor had her on prescriptions. She just posted something out in our, our group that her blood pressure is normalized now and she's lost an incredible amount of weight in just a few weeks. So whatever the person's story is, read the testimonials and learn to tell the stories. That's what moves people, not Oh, we've got chamomile, and we've got holy thistle, and we've got marshmallow malvolies in the tea. No, that's not what sells the tea. What sells the tea is my mother's friend started drinking this tea, and in two months, her doctor took her off of her blood pressure medication. What sells the tea is, oh my goodness, we had a lady who just got one sample pack she didn't know. What, what it was going to do. And she just called my business partner back today. This really happened to me. She just called my business partner back and asked for a month supply because some amazing things <laughs> happened to her with just her first sample. She lost weight and she was like, oh my gosh, this tea works. So learn to tell the stories. If you got to, if you have to screenshot the testimonials, and then print them out. If you gotta write them or whatever, you gotta get yourself a whole book of testimonials, guys, because that's what sells. Learn to tell the stories. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, awesome. So with that, next question. What do you need to be successful? Next person. Hey, Boomer, this is Tarvis. Can you hear me? Tarvis, hey, can you Tarvis, hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Can everybody else hear me? All right. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the things that I realized over this past two weeks that I need to be successful are mainly just to keep things simple and try not too much to try to reinvent the wheel, so to speak. You know that saying, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Just keep things simple when you're trying to share information with people. Don't try to do too much. You want to keep their, you want to pique their curiosity, you know, and um, leave them thinking with something, you know. Don't try to explain everything, you know, like the young lady said just a minute ago. Let the tools do the work so it'll be less on you. And if they have any other questions, which probably, which are very few after they see the videos, um, then that, that'll just be that. Then you are able to, you know, have the conversation because you piqued their interest, you know. And that's what I've been learning over the last couple of weeks. I mean, I've been known, but I just try to put my little uh into it, you know, and uh, I realize that's sometimes the hardest way to do things. So I've learned just to keep it simple, let the tools do the work, and um, you'll be better off, you know, yes, attracting sir. attracting more of an audience. Yeah. Yes. Or more people you talk to, us, so to speak, you know. If that makes any Very sense. Very good. So less is more. Yes. And you just want to pique a person's interest and create curiosity. Sometimes people make the mistake of trying to, what we call, throw up on people. That means like you get diarrhea of the mouth and you're so excited, you just try to give out all the information. Exactly. And that's not what it takes, guys. You just want to pique people's interest enough, their curiosity with a story, with your quick testimony, and send them to a video and get them to look at something. Now, what you got to understand is this, guys. Once you get people to look at something, most times they don't come back to you with their credit card saying, sign me up, sign me up. I want to order, I want to order. Oh my God, your video was so great. Here, order me some. That just doesn't happen. You got to understand the sales process here and the recruiting process. So even though a person may like the information, you've got to do your good follow-up, okay? The fortune is in the fast follow-up. You got to call that person back. See if they watched the video. Oftentimes, they had not watched it. You got to get them to watch it. And there's all techniques that we can get into to help them to, to teach you to have them to do that. Number one, get them to watch it right then and there. If you're especially there, if you're there with them, you can just play the video real quick. If not, you can see if it's over the phone, they can watch the video right now. They say, yes, they great. Watch it right now. I'll call you back in five minutes. So... Once you get people to watch the video, then you still have to get their order. 
how do you do that? You want to do the three-way, especially if it's a business partner prospect, you want to always edify a capable upline and then bring that person to the expert. So listen to this. I'm going to give you all some tips. So if my friend Tut has just looked at the video, I say, Tut, wasn't that awesome? When I first saw that, that really made me think, and I was like, I need this product in my life. Let me ask you, what did you like best about what you saw? So what I did was I just told him something that I liked, what my thought was when I first saw it, okay? Then I asked, what did you like best about what you saw? So I'm already creating the atmosphere of, man, this was good. Oh, Todd, wasn't that awesome? That video was so awesome. Uh, that's why I'm just so into wellness. This is just, I, when I first saw it, I knew this was something that people needed. What did you like about what you saw? Not what do you think, because most people don't think. And we're not just say, asking them something so they can be negative. We want a positive. What did you like best about what you saw? Okay, write that down. I've been saying that same question for 20 years. That is the question to ask. If you have a person on Tuesday night with Al's call, you ask, what did you like best about what you heard? That's just, that's the question you ask when they watch videos or, or, or see something like a hear audio. Now, once they tell you, oh, I like the money. Oh, you know what? Seemed like a good product. Oh, you know, I like the way that it, it says it cleans you out. Oh, I like the way that, you know, it, it helps you lose five pounds in five days. Then you agree. Great. That makes a lot of sense. I liked that too. Okay, write this down, guys. Agree with what they say, because I'm sure if it's something good, you're going to like it too. I like that too. Now, let me tell you what I'm going to do next. See, when I'm talking to people, I use a step-by-step -step process. So I know there's a next step to what I'm doing. So that's why I tell them, let me tell you what your next step is. I have got to introduce you to one of my amazing business partners, Dr. Daryl. He travels all across the country promoting the wellness message. He was trained as a nurse. He's a nutritional doctor. Any question that people have about these products and what they do, I mean, he has, he has all the answers. So... I'm going to introduce you to him because he's just somebody that you have got to meet if you're into wellness and being healthy. So hold on. Let me see if I can reach him. Okay. So what did I just do? I did not ask them if they wanted to go to the next step. I qualified them by asking them, what do they like best? They told me something that they liked. So they get to go to the next step of, I said, let me tell you what's next. I've got to introduce you to my business partner, Doris. This lady is in the gym all the time. She looks 20 years younger than her age. Most people her age are just sitting around, you know, not working on their fitness, but I just love connecting people with her because she knows these products and she's such an inspiration. Hold on, let me, you just got to meet Doris, okay? So you are building up that person, whoever they're going to speak to, in your prospect's eyes. That's called the edification. So you're going to edify that expert and get them on the phone with somebody other than you. That's just the process, okay? So why do we do that? We do that because, number one, if you're new, you want to be trained, so you want to listen to what I say, what Dr. Daryl says, what Andrea says to your prospects. Another thing you want to do, especially when you're sponsoring, is you want people to see the big picture. That is not just about you, but there's a team and there's a big vision and we're going somewhere great, so they got to hear from somebody other than you. The other thing is you may not know how to close the sale. So if you don't know how to close the sale yet, you got to get on the phone with me or Dr. Daryl so you can hear how we say, hey, let's go ahead and get you started. Hey, Sean, where do you want your products sent to? I'm right here in front of the computer, man. It sounds like you're ready. Oh, come here, come here. What's your first and last name? So you will hear how we just roll into the sale. Now, 
If you have people who are ready to buy, be ready to take the order. If they say, oh, girl, I want to order, you don't have to say, well, let me get you on the phone with Dr. Daryl Booney. If they are ready and say, oh, girl, I need to order this stuff, how can I get it? Write down their information. You should know the information. Listen, please do not send people to your site. You say, oh, go to my site. GetSkinnyToday.com. All right, fine. You'll be two weeks before they order. I'm telling you. Even if they say, oh, I'm ready right now. What's your site? I'll say, this is what you say. Say, oh, look, I'm going to go ahead and place your order for you. What address do you want your product shipped to? And what's your first and last name? Okay, great. What's the best email address for you? Give me your best phone number. All right, well, listen, will that be Visa, MasterCard, or American Express? That's how you ask for the credit card. Are you going to be using today a Visa, a, a MasterCard, or American Express? You just go right into it. And they'll tell you, oh, Visa, is it your name on the card? Oh, yes, my name. Okay, and the numbers, and you take down the numbers. Then you want to ask, is the billing and the shipping address the same? Because if it's different and you don't get the billing address, then the car is not going to go through. So you always want to find out if the billing and the shipping are the same. They say, yes, fine. They say, no, then get the billing address. Make sure you get the numbers and you get the expiration date, okay? And that's how you do it, guys. And then you put the order in. Okay, great. I got all, all your information, Sean. I'm going to put this order right in, and I'll give you a call right back to let you know that it was approved. That's how we do it. You, I'm, I'm teaching you to make more money, to close more sales when you take responsibility for that sale and you put it in. When people tell us, oh, you know what, we can do it. I say, listen, the first time I put it in for you, and then once I get your account set up, then subsequent orders, you'll be able to do it yourself. Okay? That's what I tell people because I've been in this long enough to know that most people just don't go and do what it is that they say they were going to do. So I want that money right now. So I collect the credit card number right now and put it in. Does that make sense to you guys? I need you to shake your head. Yes or no. Comment, feedback. I'm teaching you guys to get your money. I'm teaching you to, to get your e-wallet pumped up. Well, don't be just sending people to your website. This is a relationship business, okay? We are taking the orders and putting them in. Secondary would be walking them through their order, okay? All righty. I stayed on that one a long time. All right, we got about 10 more minutes. Next person. I got to drive to Virginia after this. So we got to hurry. I'm sorry, this is Joanne. I'd like, like to add something to what you just said because I made that mistake uh, last week. I had an order. As a matter of fact, my god sister ordered the um, two detox tea for one. And the order went through. She gave me an address. I put everything in the card number and everything. Then she got a letter from headquarters telling her that the package came back because she did not give me her apartment number. I did not even think to ask if this was an apartment or a house. And so that shipment was delayed because of that, you know? So I think we all need to be mindful of that. I know I'll never make that mistake again. Good advice. Good advice. You can yeah, always have, ask um, the apartment number. I have one more thing I want to ask. Um, I know it varies from state to state. But I was wondering if anyone else has a business license because I've never heard anyone talk about you must have a business license. In network marketing, you don't need a business license. Huh. So you don't, yeah, you don't need the license to do business. Not even if for, because I was told if you're working on the in the internet, you still have to have license. No, that's not true. Okay. All right. Just a DBA, right? Doing business as? That's yeah, you, you don't, don't there's, there's nothing you need but to sign up and use your 
social security number or your EIN number. And our company, as of right now, I don't know how the back office is going to be in August, but you don't even have to get a person social when they're first enrolling. Almost every company I've been with in the past, the last 20 years, you had to, but they don't get have you to put your social security number in there until you are um, requesting money from your e-wallet, then you have to do that. And you don't even get a tep- get a 1099 until you've made $600 for the year. Hopefully all of you all will make over $600, but unless you don't even get a 1099 unless you make $600. Okay, and that's just for all companies. Okie dokie, let's see, let's see. Um, or there's something else I was getting ready to say. Anybody have a... Um, Another question, Todd? Yeah, Boomy, I have a product question. All right. If a person is taking a tea, and let's say they took it for a couple weeks, and they had some good progress, but mentally a lot of people think that they got to have a lot of bowel movements for this thing to work. What do you say to someone and they start to think that it's not being effective? All right. Dr. Darrell, do you want to answer that? I can answer it, but if Dr. Darrell, if you're out there, you can answer that. I'm right here. Can you hear me? Wake up, Dr. Darrell. (laughs) You're coming in a little low, but go ahead and answer that question for us. Am I coming in better now? Yes, uh, go ahead. No, a lot of people, you know, their bowels should move, especially in the first week, um, no matter whether they're big or small there. Sometimes people have a lot of, in, uh, a lot of toxins in there, and it, I would say it's, uh, it's, it's really, really uh, in there. And I tell them to use 96 ounces the first time, and they tell me they didn't get good results. That uh, they are getting, uh, they, they, I tell them the second tea to make it stronger, because some people just need a stronger uh, dosage of it, and another thing that eating some people are eating pasta while they own it. They they are eating Chinese food. They're eating all kind of stuff that makes the and and taking the product with their food. So a lot of times they should have more bowel movement without a doubt, especially when they eat meals. <laughs> but if they do not have them, I I know tell them that make more tea. Don't use 128 ounces a gallon. Make the tea and only use 96 ounces, which is a quart less than uh, what you did the, the first time. Because sometimes it's like uh, with anything, you might have some some dishes in the sink and you have to soak them or, or scrub them harder because of different things that's on them. Sometimes people just have that in their system, and I make sure they are not eating right. Right, uh, taking the tea and drinking the tea. You know how people drink tea and stuff with their meal, making sure they're not eating, and then 10 minutes later, they're taking the tea. Make sure they go an hour before they take the tea or 30 minutes before. Now, usually I find out all people are microwaving it, people use tap water. It's all kind of things that make the product inefic- not, not as efficient as it should be. Uh, uh, some people take it and take the Take it and boil the uh, the water. Put the tea bags in there. Once it cools down in a couple of hours, they put it in the refrigerator. So well, I kept the tea bags in there, and I put it in there. I figured it would work. I figured it would work, even though I didn't let it sit out and steep for eight hours. I found out uh, again every time one of these things come up, it always gets solved by one of the things I've just mentioned. Dale also. One more, one more thing to add to that. One more thing. Also, with people adding different type of sweeteners to it, I understand we should be doing like honey or agave, but when people use stuff like sugar and saccharin and equal and stuff like that, how does that affect it? It, it makes it uh, the the product not work as well. It takes the effectiveness down very low when you do that. You put a council causing chemical in your tea. Even though you might didn't know it was cancer causing, it's been proven over and over. It's a cancer causing chemical sweetener in there. It changes the, the way the product works on you. So that's what happens. So that I tell them, do not use those. Whether you knew it or not, it's cancer causing. It changes the effectiveness of your teeth. And, you know, 
lot of people say, council called me. Nobody never told me that. Well, I mean, it's a fact out of fact. Yes, so we always tell people, don't put sugar in it. You can use honey, agave, or stevia. No sugar, and do not microwave it. So that's what we always, um, that's what we always tell people. Then the other thing, too, Todd, I've, I've noticed is that in the beginning, when you haven't cleansed in a while, you're going to have more that comes out of you because you just had more that was impacted in there. So as you continue to drink the tea, you, people, I know even I don't necessarily see what I saw at the beginning because I'm cleaner inside. Um, so that's something else. And oh, and also when this isn't just a go to the bathroom tea. So it's detoxifying us, now all our major organs, but we, we eliminate through the bowels, we eliminate through the urine, we eliminate through the skin and our sweat. So bowel movements aren't the only way that we eliminate toxins from us. So some of the toxins are even coming out through the urine. So, so people have to understand that too. Boomy and Dr. Darrell, yeah. I have a question or maybe more of an observation. This is Mary. Good evening. Uh, Hello, Mary. Hi. So my question is this. Uh, having said what you all just said, would you not suggest that uh, our people drink more water? Because that's very vital in flushing our system out as well. The intake Absolutely. of water should be increased, correct? Correct. And I often hear Dr. Darrell telling people the right kind of water. So you just don't want to exactly. do any kind of water. I mean, he actually right. tells people to go to the health food store and just get your gallon of their you know, 8.5 or higher water. That's the best kind. He really deters them from using their tap water if it's like chlorinated, you know, um, chlorine fluoridated water. Don't use that. So just, you know, take a couple minutes and, you know, pay two or three dollars or whatever and get some good water to use so and and as you said okay. drink more is vital because it's going to help to flush the stuff out of you well let me let me also uh clarify something people go get i have a water filter on my faucet i am you know, i purify my water so they take out some of the chemicals you still got parasites and other chemicals in there so don't be fooled and say well i don't have to go to the store so if you even get distilled water and pay a dollar twenty-five cents for a gallon, the best is uh, alkaline water. But don't be fooled and say, "Hey, I have a purifier on my faucet." No, no, no. That water is still going to not give you the best uh, uh, effect because it's only taking out some of the chemicals, some of the parasites. That water is still not uh, not good water. So don't get caught up in that. I got a I got a little filter on mine. No, you still you can't use that water. If you want the best result. So, Doctor D, you just said alkaline water. So, if I have the water and I just grab some lemons and I make my own alkaline water, that suffice? No, you still got parasites in there. Unless you got a microscope, know how to test water. You got parasites. You also got toxins, lead, and different things that's coming in our water supply that comes through our pipes. Coming to your house. No. No, 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 Dr. D. Not coming out the pipe. I'm talking about if I get some distilled water and then put some lemons in it. Is it well, alkaline water then? Well, yeah, that'll make it alkaline. Uh, uh, that can make it alkaline, yeah. But you can just use plain distilled water uh, and, and that works. Again, the best water is the alkaline water. But yeah, if you take distilled water and you squirt some, you know, some, some lemon in a fresh lemon in there that would make it alkaline the water, which is the best of the best. But sometimes alkaline water can be kind of pricey, so that's why I said it's still all right to distill water that you buy from Walmart or somewhere that says distilled. Don't use spring water, still water. Okay, I got another question then. Not really a question, more of an observation to his question, which is about those lemons. So if we're going to use if somebody, since he put it out there, so if we're going to use the lemons, then it should be organic lemons. So plus, then we know that there's less pesticide spray and all that on their organic lemons. Yes, exactly. That's the best okay. of the best. Mm -hmm. But remember, not to complicate things, distilled water, if you got a, a lemon, you can squeeze some in there. If you got an organic lemon, you can squeeze 
uh, some in there or get distilled water, pH balanced water, which ranges uh, 7.0 and up. I suggest to get the higher one uh, over 8 pH. It doesn't matter who makes it, it's the pH balance. It's like going to the store to buy sugar. You don't care whether Food Lab makes it, Harris Teeter makes it, or Dixie Crystal, the, the leading person that uh, company that sells sugar. You just want it to be sugar. And uh, <laughs> don't, put, don't put white sugar into your uh, in it either. But uh, don't, don't again, don't make it complicated. Distilled water, pH. <laughs> Okay. Are you there for me? Yes. Uh oh, I didn't. I couldn't hear you. I didn't know you called back for me. All right. Thank you. Well, we just had great health conversation. Now let's have some wealth conversation before we end this call. Let's talk car bonus. So guys, I want you to um, draw out what it looks like in your achievement of the car bonus. What does that look like, okay? So we are teleological by nature, right? We move towards what we think about and what we see. And I need more people on the big group going after this car bonus with a sense of urgency. So I got my whiteboard here. Let me see, can I flip this camera? Can you flip the camera around on this thing? I don't know if you can do that, but anyway, let me do it, go like this. So I got my whiteboard here, can y'all see it? And so on the whiteboard or on your piece of paper, I want you to draw what the car, you achieving the car bonus looks like. And so that would be you with your four, right? You see that? All right, so you guys have your four. And then they each have a car bonus pack. So some have the 79, some have the 89, some have the 497. Some, or some may have the 99, one with the coffee, okay? So you guys gotta focus on this and I need you to write it out because being humans, we are teleological by nature. We move towards what we think about and what we see, okay? So I need you all to write that out. So that's your four. You should be working on, tap your screen to flip the camera. Hold on, let's see. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Danita. All right, so, <laughs> appreciate that. All right, that's much easier. Okay, so, you got you, then you got your four, but I need you to write this out and I need you all to be seeing it every day because some of you are not focusing on it because you're not keeping it in front of your eyes. Now, then you draw out what? Each of those four, you wanna draw out their four legs, okay? Now, and this is an easy question, but let me just ask you, how many people is this on your team when you have four who have their four? So I'm gonna unmute y'all. Everybody should know this answer by heart. Unmute and tell me. 20. Who else has an answer? Anybody else unmute and tell me. How many is this on your team? 20. 20. Who else has an answer? Doris, 20. Who else has an answer? T 20. 20. Right. 20. Yes, 20, 20. Y'all should know it. Look at the back of your hand. A team of 20, each having the car bonus package. How do you get the car bonus, big group? You've got to personally sponsor four, and this has to happen all in the same month, for you to earn the car bonus. You earn the car bonus when in a giving actually week, because the soon as you have this one week, the week that you have this done, the next week you get paid that $500.
So you got to focus on this, draw this out, you getting your four. And as you get the people, write their names in there, okay? Then you're working on them getting their four. There's a car bonus report in your back office. You click on car bonus report, it will tell you how many people you have, how many people they have, how many people they have that's qualified. And then as your people start getting people, write that in. So maybe this person has their two, they got Bill and Sharon, and this person has one, they got Bob, so they need three more. This person doesn't have any, they're working on all four, and this person may have all, you know, all four of their people, okay? But you're always looking at it, if you got it up, and you're always looking at it, you're thinking about it, man, I need one more person. Man, Donnie needs one more person. Let me call him and see who he's got to, you know, that we can talk to. Who can we get on the phone with? Who can we inspire? Who does he have in his pipeline? Don't just be okay with other people getting celebrated to be, with, uh, to be car bonus package um, to excuse me to have gotten a car bonus uh, qualification. Yes, we're happy for them. You're happy for them. You're happy for me. But what about you? You got to go and get it. So now I think the quickest a person has done this, I think Yvette Merther actually got the $1,000 car bonus in um, three weeks, okay? So remember, once you have this team of 20, and I want y'all guys to be moving fast with a sense of urgency on this, then you can do it again. So if you have two groups of 20, two four by fours, now how much is your car bonus each month? Nobody knows? A thousand. All right, we got, ooh, yeah, thank you. Did you hear me? We got somebody said a thousand. Somebody else tell me. If you have a two four by fours, how much is your car bonus? One thousand dollars. Would you say to one thousand dollars? All right. Anybody else got an answer? Doris, one thousand dollars. Anybody else have an answer? Coach Donito, a thousand dollars. Anybody else have an answer? A thousand dollars. Thank you. So two four by fours is a thousand. See, I need you all to know this, not just for you, but when you are sponsoring people and you're giving them a game plan, a track to run on, you got to know this. You got to be able to say it with confidence so you can inspire them and your people will have a game plan. What should they be doing? You need to be saying, okay, Robert, you just signed on now. Are you interested in getting that car bonus? Yes. Let me show you how to do it. I want you to draw this out. This is what we got to work on. We got to work on getting you your four. How do you get your four? You get as many sets of eyes on that video as it takes to get your four. I don't know for you if that number is going to be 25 or 125, but it don't matter. Just keep on showing the video. Keep on getting those folks on the line with me, with Boomy, with Dr. Darrell, so we can close them out on a three-way. Just keep getting as many sets of eyes on the video as it takes so we can fill this in and get your four. This is how we're going to get you the car bonus. Then how do those four to get their four? All they're going to do is the same thing that you just did. We're going to get them to make this chart, and we're going to get them to work on getting their four. And so as your people are doing that same thing, that's just a team of 20. And I don't know of any other company that's going to give you $500 a month in a car or a lifestyle bonus for as little as a team of just 20 people who get started with an average pack of under $100. Y'all don't understand the gift that you have here. So you should be going for it. Don't sit by and whenever it happens, happens. Get a date. When do you want to make it happen? And then be going for it on a daily basis. Be sifting and sorting every day to recruit people, to inspire people, to get them to take a look at your video, to get them to take a look at the four by four video, the opportunity video, to get them on a three way, get them on a Tuesday call, then get them on the phone with me, Dr. Daryl, Andrea, some capable upline. And some of you are even, some of, 
those of you who are starting to do three ways or doing a lot of three ways with us, you're in the training period so you can start doing three ways. So the more you get your people on the phone with us so you can hear what we say, that's how you get trained in knowing what to say. So you can start closing out people for your people. But write out that four by four, guys, okay? And put it someplace or several places around your hot house so you can see it and you can be focused on that because I need to get more people in the big group car bonus qualified. Are you guys going to do that? Yes. Look and see who else is going to do that. I heard one yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm working yes. on it. All right. See you, Danita. Gotcha. Okay, guys. Well, it's after nine. Oh, my audio was off. I said yes to Boomy. My audio was off. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, listen, we're going to go ahead and end this call. I get to drive to Virginia to take my grandbaby home. I've enjoyed her these last five days. But um, so what are we doing this week, guys? You're making your list, especially those of you in Baltimore. You're making your list for who you're inviting to Saturday or expanding the list for the Saturday um, tea, coffee, and fitness mixer. People in other states, you're still getting engaged. You're finding out who's in the area, and you're still inviting and promoting. You're doing Facebook Lives on it with yourself. You're doing it with me. You're doing, you know, doing Facebook Lives with team members, whether it's about the mixer or anything else. Maybe you're just so excited about your business, and so, you know, Sharon and Mary, you do lives together. and Just say, hey, listen, we are out here in, I forget what state you're in, <laughs> California and we are or Washington State whatever state you are in and we are got, we got something we're so excited about we just want to let you all know that Lore Life International has come to Washington and we are about to do something big okay so a lot of times when you talk we don't always you know hit on the company name but maybe sometimes you, you do or sometimes you just don't even you leave that air care uh, of curiosity and you just say what you're excited about what you're going to be doing what you're going to be building you're like vision casting and understanding that people follow people people follow people who are moving and shaking who have a vision who are go-getters that's the type of people that people like to connect with so you want to continuously show this on your um as you're building your audience and you're following on social media dr daryl is there anything you want to say as we close out this call today well you've done a great job uh pretty much we've been over everything guys i just hope you take the notes and go back over those notes uh this call also could be re-listened to for people that was on your team that did not get a chance to look at this but go back over it. Do your homework. Study. You know, book out. We're still studying the business after over 20 years or 25 years. I'm still learning new things, studying and getting better and better. You know, because uh, there's people out here in this industry making millions of dollars per month. That's where I want to go to. So I got to get better. <laughs> so guys, study what you're doing. Rehearse. Get in the front of the mirror. Record yourself. Listen to what you're saying. Make sure it's in line with what we're telling you. And guys, you'll get better and better and more and more money will come. Back over to you, Boomy. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Darrell. And uh, Mary says she's going to go live when she's doing her walk tonight. That's awesome. People love that. People love seeing you on your health journey. They love seeing you exercise. All that is in this wellness world that we are in. So do those kind of things. It's not always, oh, this is my tea and this is my business, but inspire people. We got this whole My 10K Life brand that's up. So yes, Put your Facebook Live on when you're doing your walking. You inspire people to a greater level of fitness. And once you do that, some of them may say, when you start talking about, oh, yeah, that's what's helping me to exercise more or not to get as winded are these products I'm taking. Then those people who have followed you on your journey will say, oh, how do I get that? So there's so many different connection points, but I'll continue, guys. You all are doing a, a great job. Some need to step it up. Some have already stepped it up. And uh, you're, you're scheduling your mixers. You're doing your three ways. You're doing your Facebook Lives, and you're doing your, your posts. So I'll continue to do the great job there. And with that, this Zoom is officially over.
and I will see you guys in the group and in the chat. I've just unmuted so we all can stay. I'm trying to unmute. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. Say good night to your family. Good night. 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 <laughs> when you hit kissed me at one point on my neck or something, I went, ooh, and I heard